Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another wonderful Lo-Fi Thor News episode where I will not be using my superhuman editing skills. I will just be talking to you in one straight take. What we are talking about today is Bomo Genesis. I wish I had time to put together a super video and I will. Tomorrow morning check back and you will have a finest ed weather video on YouTube. But as your super weatherman on YouTube, I want to tell you guys that um, climate is changing. But it always changes. But now it's changing really rapidly and sometimes at extremely scary levels. We have a storm in the northeast coast uh, that whether people are freaking out about. Bombogenesis. And um, the deal is that like uh, Bombogenesis is when the pressure system here. Let me switch to wind tees so we can kind of watch it as I talk about it. Okay, we're at see Wednesday the 8th and I'm going to hit forward and it's going to play pressure now over here these colors are the low pressure where outer space is pressing in on earth and then the higher pressure which is the red and the yellow is where the pressure is higher and so uh almost anytime there's low pressure you get uh, some type of severe weather so i'm now going to press play <clears throat> and we're going to watch the future on this computer model of the pressure okay got it boom there we go we're now moving forward Okay, so everybody's freaking out about the bombogenesis. It's going to be happening. And bombogenesis is where it changes. It drops over 24 millibars of pressure in 24 hours. So you're talking about extreme rapid weather increases. And so see this area right here? This is what I think they're talking about. And so, yeah, tomorrow you're going to get some pretty massive and scary weather in the northeast asterisk like it may not be worst case scenario it may not even be as close to worst case scenario but don't get mad if it's not because we're just preparing you for what could possibly happen you prepare for the worst and then you celebrate if you get the best okay so they're gonna get a lot of snow and one of the reasons that i'm making this video well my life is a bit crazy right now so i don't have the time to make that super video but this video is because like i usually keep up on weather every single day and that the forecast changed so rapidly in such a short amount of time that it was even alarming to me. So, and last night as I was going over all the data, it was interesting to see the low pressure systems that were happening. And I was like, oh my God, this is freaky. Like even watching it, it's freaky. And I know that uh, science and government like to hold hands and say that Carbon is the complete cause of that. And I'm not here to argue and have you know one of the many fights that everybody on Earth is having right now. I like to believe that Earth is an extremely dynamic system. And weather is very complicated. And it starts with the sun. And then you have the Earth's magnetic core. And that somewhere in between is where we're getting all the changes. Now, on a more semi-conspiracy theory, we can talk about how things in our solar system and things outside of our solar system affect our solar system and that knowing in all honesty that uh, our space agencies are under the umbrella of Department of Defense I don't know it seems like for about 40 years or since we went to the moon they aren't always as forthcoming with the information as they should be being public agencies are supposedly for the public good of the people so at times, it feels like we're out on our own. And that's why I'm... Holy shit, dude. Look at that. See, look at that giant low-pressure system. You got dueling low-pressure systems over here. This massive one. I've never seen one that big on this map. Over here, by Canada, Alaska, and the West Coast. And you got this one, the mean sea level pressure point, kind of, over here. And so, now you get, like, a giant... You get, like, let's say this is the Nibiru one, and then this is its moon blue muffin, and then this is, like... The red tango, and then this is the purple kachina, just to name the mean sea level pressure, shall we? And so, what I'm saying is that we are undergoing rapid changes. And so, I just want everyone to kind of stay aware of the weather, and that things are changing, and things are kind of scary. And these days, we don't know who to trust. Now, if you're here at Thor News watching this video, that means you seem to be pretty aware, pretty educated, pretty awake. And that's good. But most of the people are arguing over, like, 
ticky tacky little things. They're arguing over like presidential tweets. And granted, that's a great carrot to be chasing. Like, these are interesting times indeed. But usually, if something major is going on, it seems like a major distraction. It's like, hey, what are they distracting us from? And I don't know. Maybe it's the weather because this shit is pretty freaky. And it seems to be changing pretty rapidly. And one of the alarming things that I don't know, I kind of lost some heart and hope over the last few weeks is the fact that it seems like our major government has no real plan, at least has no real plan, plan for the people. Hey, thanks. Go ahead and delete the previous version of my Windows. I had to reset everything. I get hacker problems all the time. Anyway, so yeah, they may not have a plan for us, so it's best to be prepared on your own. Um, so yeah, I guess the basis of the video is just me telling you, hey, if you're on the West Coast, or the East Coast, or somewhere in the middle, you really need to pay attention to the weather. Because we were watching on the West Coast, storm after storm after storm blow in, and then after they blow in, it, holy shit, look at that. We're starting to turn on Venus, man. Look, it's just one giant low, oh wow. One, it's, this is totally different than yesterday when I was looking at this pressure map. Like, that is freaky. So smoke them if you got them. Um, and definitely no matter what's going on, what is going on, like, it's like two hurricanes over in the Pacific, but it's not, they're not hurricanes, but they're just, yeah, so yeah, I'm anticipating super freaky weather between now, we're looking at the 17th, but, you know, this is real, we don't have to argue about the cause of climate, we don't have to even argue about anything, it's time for us really to come together, but I've been saying that for four years now, and that message doesn't seem to be sticking. I mean, it's weird because another freaky thing is that I've been saying the longer we go without coming together as people, the bigger the event that would have to be to unite us. And I don't know if you're looking at what I'm looking at. I assume you are. Uh, the event's pretty big. That's coming, I think. Okay, so now we're over at the null thingy. And this is surface wind that we're looking at right now. Okay? So we're going through surface wind. And then we're going to go to total cloud water. Boom. Now look at that. Seriously, like, so the white is, like, total cloud water. You see all this, like, and this is the area in question here. Um, so we'll put it, like, right there for now. Actually, yeah. So this is the storm that's hitting now, and then this is the next one, and then they have another one over here that'll be coming. Now, I was noting last night, like, Look at the giant strips underneath that are coming. Um, now let's let's go forward in time, shall we? So this is we're gonna do total cloud water first. This is total cloud water here, okay? And this is today. This is the ninth. Wait, eighth of February. So now we're going to the ninth total cloud water. Let's get move forward. Boom. So the giant storm is still hitting the west coast, and then we have this one coming, and then we have another one growing. And then oh. So over here is our Bombo Genesis right here. And we've moved a whole day, so this the point is going to move from here up. But, okay, yeah. And then we're going to the 10th. Download faster. So yeah, look. look and so this storm is just now passing through California. And then here's the next giant one that's coming. And then there's a giant strip wall. And then over here, you have a giant strip wall, too. It's like a straight line down and a straight line down. And then here's your next storm already queued up. So this is the storm that's here. This is the one that's on deck. And here's the guy who's in the dugout fidgeting his feet, ready to get in the game. All right. And we we're just on the 10th. Now we're going to the 11th. And as you can see, and I watched this storm on multiple things. And what's weird is this storm by yesterday's projections when it hits it hits like the top of alaska and goes all the way down the coast it's massive major giant and notice how here you still have a bunch of rain and snow up through here okay so let us move forward we're going to the 12th oh my god we're at the 12th so this one does a weird quirky thing at least here it's going to change and notice how the entire canadian canadian and uh east coast is still getting hit with a ton of some type of precipitation. And now we are tapped out on the 13th. Servers down. Okay, so as you can see, we got storm after storm after storm coming. Now we're going to do the 
mean sea level pressure. Right? And I'm like, oh shit. Oh <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah, red is you know, white is high pressure, and then red and purple is low. Red is lower. And so here's our mean sea this is like the <clears throat> like three or four years ago, I called it the Eye of Sauron mean sea level pressure point. To me, it's kinda like the new moving north pole. And it, it's been growing. And so here it is. Now, and here it technically looks kind of like a monster, like a spider claw. Anywho, and the spider claws over the entire East Coast. So if you've been experiencing weird headaches and migraines and sounds in your ears, it's because uh, you've had some quick changes in pressure lately. Anyway, let's watch this puppy go forward, shall we? Okay, so now going forward, boom. So there's your biomogenesis right there. And... And then notice how this is over here. And so there's going to be more. Like I said, usually you get severe weather with the low pressure areas. So it's the ninth. And then boom. You know, this one kind of looks like a little planetary system. One, two, three, four. And notice how it's. Wow. And here's a little volcano area. Off the Oregon, Washington, Canadian coast. Yeah, you can see the the mean sea level pressure is kind of freaky diggy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so our mean sea level pressure point has just gotten giant over here. <clears throat> Super duper giant. And, um, I don't know, I guess we're going to see major earthquakes sometime soon. No, not major, major, but just somehow. But guess, oh, and so like our mean sea level pressure point at some point is like a giant chicken hawk, I guess. <clears throat> and so it looks like to me, it's like a chicken hawk throwing baseballs or softballs or something. And then we have this little hurricane looking thingy over here, and then super scary mean sea level pressure points over there. Um, yeah, okay, then servers now, meaning that we can't go that much farther into the future. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep you guys informed and that. There's no, like, political statement here. I'm not politicizing anything. I'm just saying, yeah, as someone who's been studying and watching this for four years and doing my best to pretend to be a real-life superhero, or be a real-life superhero, that, yeah, the weather's freaky, man. And I don't want to get into why it's so freaky. Um, and it's just best for all of us to be prepared and kind of come together. together. Um, because it's getting worse, you know? Um, and at times it feels like if the low pressure point meets up with the high pressure point, we're going to turn Venus. I don't know. That's crazy. So, but let's check out these thingies. And, okay, we got that one there. Let me go to this one here if you don't mind. So, yeah, I'll be up all night putting videos together on outer space and inner space and weather. And just fun, 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 fun stuff. What am I looking for here? Bear with me if you're a bear. Okay, because I want to put the two together. No way it'll give you a better idea of what I've been looking at and talking about. Which would you want to start off? West Coast? Yeah, I'll start off West Coast. Okay, let me get them about the same size. So, create some type of a cool editing effect. Okay. Is anybody still here? Um, if you're still here at the 13 minute mark, please, in the comments, leave your favorite type of candy. Okay, so... We're now watching, this is total precipitable water. That means the water that's willing to participate in any type of event or storm. <clears throat> and so, kind of like the browner it gets, the more wet and weathery it is. So notice we've got these waves and storms flowing in, right? And it's just one after another. So here's the storm we're getting now, and there's the next one, and the one after that's right beyond it. But over here, you've got the, I mean, sea level pressure point over here siphoning off some of the energy and some of the participation which is good or the storms would be major right so you see how it's pulling backwards okay now when we go over here there's nothing siphoning it off and it's actually like pushing the other way and watch how much faster these waves are moving compared to the other one you see that because they're all being pulled into the other mean civil pressure point so they're like zipping forward while the other's kind of being pulled back at the same time Wow, look at that down there. See, like, that could have been a big storm, but it gets siphoned back off. See what I'm seeing over here? See that? So it's like a little slower, and then it's 
that's being pulled backwards or the other one is being pushed forwards. These are just interesting trends to watch. And this these areas are definitely super wet and stormy. Alright, now we're gonna do what we can do now. Um Well I hear a train a coming. It's coming around the bend. And I ain't seen a happy society since I don't know when. Alright, uh, you never know what you get, Thor News, man. I'm crazy. But then we're all crazy these days. It's like we've been getting bullshit bogus information for 2,000 years, man. 7,000 years. A million thousand years, whatever. So, who do you expect to be saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you've seen all this? Okay, so yeah, this is like a week or whatever. But, um, look at some of these major areas. You know, so. Weather's complicated. Weather's like women. And then it's complicated, and sometimes you just can't figure it out. But you get ideas, and you can sense patterns, and when it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's really scary. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that giant. I mean, it's almost like a Mother Nature is hosing down the West Coast. Uh, maybe it's because of the methane that's spewing out or something. I don't know. Like I said, it's a cool thing, is if somehow you're... Oh, see, look at them. Look at the creatures that are being created over here by the I have Sauron level pressure point thingy. So yeah, I hope we learned a lot here today. And if you do like my voice and my perspective on all things, then I guess you must love these one-takers. Because I just yammer-jabber and give you the wisdom and